Now that you know the basic layout of the TravelJoy dashboard, let's get your account set up for success. A good rule of thumb with TravelJoy is that almost everything is customizable and optional. If a particular feature in TravelJoy isn't part of your regular workflow, you can probably skip it. With that in mind, let's get started. Just a quick note here, a number of things we'll be covering in this tutorial are also listed in the Getting Started checklist at the top of your page. While we do encourage you to complete this checklist, it is not required to get to 100%, and you should feel free to skip anything in this list which doesn't apply to you. One other quick note, you'll notice that we skip a few things in the Settings menu. There are a variety of reasons for this. Usually it's because the settings are covered in another video, or simply aren't crucial during this initial setup phase. To get started, let's import our client list. This feature is located on the Clients tab by clicking Add Client, then Client Import. There are two ways to import clients into TravelJoy. The quickest way to import your clients is to download our Instant Import file and add your clients. To do this, click Download and open the downloaded file. You'll notice familiar column headers in this file, name, email, phone number, birth date, and so on. Copy all of your client information into the appropriate columns in this document, save the document, and come back to TravelJoy. Click Upload and choose your saved file. Since you added your clients to our instant import file, they'll be imported in just a few moments. That's it. If you'd rather just send us an existing spreadsheet from another source and let us handle the legwork, you can do that too. Click the Custom tab on the Client Import page and drop your file in the box provided. Then click Import Clients. Your file will be delivered to our team and we'll manually import your clients from this sheet within three to five business days at no cost. Now that we have some clients imported, let's review your account information by clicking on Settings, then Account. Here, double check your name and the email address you'll use to sign into TravelJoy and upload a profile photo if you'd like. The profile photo appears in a few places, including in each trip's messages feed. Drag your image into the box provided, and then click Save. Next, still under Settings, click Agency Info. Here you'll add the name, contact information, and logo for your travel business. The full contact information entered here will be displayed on invoices, and the logo will appear at the top of Forms, Proposals, and Group Booking pages. You can also add your time zone here to ensure the timestamps on your messages reflect the proper local time. Like before, you can drag your own logo into the box provided, then click Save. Next up is Bank Info. This section will only be filled out if you plan to send direct invoices, which process payment for deposit into your bank account. If you won't be using this feature, you can skip this step. If you will be using this feature, fill out all requested information and click Save. A common question here is whether your social security number is required, and the answer is yes. Due to federal regulations, your identity must be verified by our payment processor in order to process payments. Once you save your settings here, you'll go through a one to two business day verification process and you'll receive an email once you've been cleared to send direct invoices. Let's click on invoice settings now. Here you can set a few defaults. For example, you can choose whether you plan to typically accept direct payments via credit card, bank transfer, or both. Click the question mark to learn the benefits of each option and choose your default. Keep in mind that you can change this on a per invoice basis as you create new invoices. For most of the options on this settings page, you can click the question mark to learn more. Once you've completely set up everything according to your preferences, click save. The membership page allows trial members to enter a promo code and sign up for an account. If you're already a paid member, you'll see an option to change your payment method and to download your monthly TravelJoy invoices on this page. The security page allows you to set up two-factor authentication. This is a powerful tool to secure your account and prevent unauthorized access. When enabled, we'll send a code to your mobile phone when you sign in from a new device, and you'll need to enter that code as a second verification step. TravelJoy strongly recommends the use of two-factor authentication. Finally, if you'll be adding team members, you can do this by clicking Team and then clicking Add Member. This allows you to add independent contractors or agents working for your agency, providing each agent with their own client list, trip queue, and TravelJoy account. Now that we've gone through most of your settings menu, let's take care of another few small pieces of housekeeping. Click on Templates and you'll see a list of available template types in TravelJoy. These are the reusable parts that help speed up your workflow. 
We strongly recommend watching our templates tutorial before exploring most of these settings, but for now let's click on Signatures, then Default Signature. This is the signature that will appear at the bottom of each email message you send. Feel free to keep it simple or get creative. And if you want to copy and paste your signature from an existing email app, go for it. Click Save when done. Now that you've learned the basics and set up your account, it's time to dive into the real work of creating trips and groups. In the next few tutorials, we'll be sending forms, proposals, invoices, and more to our clients. Before you jump into these tutorials, check out your test trip on your dashboard. This trip was created with you as both the agent and the client, allowing you to safely see things from both perspectives. TravelJoy is a powerful platform, but don't be afraid to use your test trip to experiment. Nothing you do here will affect other trips, and it's a great way to get the hang of things. When you're ready to move forward, check out our Trip Basics tutorial.